In this video, we will go through a step-by-step -step process on how to remove and replace the rollers in a Skidoo QRS secondary clutch. As you can see, the jack shaft and the secondary clutch are an assembly. Before you begin this project, there's two specialty tools you will need to buy or make. The first is a gear alignment tool used to attach to the jack shaft and keep the top gear of the chain drive aligned as you remove it. The second is a compression tool for the spring and the secondary clutch used to compress the spring so that the helix can be removed. The next step is to remove both side panels. Open the side panels, lift up on them, pull out at the bottom and push down. Next, remove your clutch guard by pulling the pin, lifting up on the back, and then lift up on the front to remove it. Next, remove the drive belt. First, pull it over the secondary clutch. Once it's removed, pull it underneath the primary clutch. You may have to push down on the bottom panel. Next, remove the bearing retainer bracket. It is located behind the secondary clutch. There's two bolts. One bolt attaches the bracket to the frame. The second bolt attaches another bracket that holds the brake line. Slide the bracket out from the frame. Next you'll need to remove the exhaust can. There are four springs that attach the can to the snowmobile. There are two springs that are attached to the exhaust pipe. There's also a spring on the lower right and a spring on the lower left. There's also a bracket that slides over the frame. Once the springs are removed, pick up and pull out. Next, remove the chain case vent plug. Use a flat bladed screwdriver and be careful not to damage the plug. Loosen the chain tensioner. There's a 17 millimeter nut. Loosen the nut and then back out the 5 millimeter Allen head bolt. This will relieve tension on the chain. Remove the bolt from the upper chain drive gear that attaches to the jack shaft. Thread the alignment tool into the clutch jack shaft. Using a wood block, tap the alignment tool to push the alignment tool through the gear and push the jack shaft through. Unthread the alignment tool from the clutch jack shaft. The alignment tool will keep the top gear in place and allow for reassembly without taking apart the chain drive. Remove the clutch and jack shaft assembly. Mark the two clutch halves and the helix. This will be used for proper alignment during reassembly. Remove the Allen head bolt from the belt tensioner bracket and unthread the belt tensioner bracket from the jack shaft. Install the clutch spring compression tool into the jack shaft.
tighten the first nut to compress the rubber and hold the tool in place. Install the tube. Be sure to keep it centered. Install the washer and install the nut. Tighten the nut to compress the spring and release the pressure on the helix. Remove the four T40 bolts on the back side of the clutch. You may need to apply heat. Remove the clutch spring compression tool. Unthread the nut to release the pressure on the spring. Remove the helix, spring, and spring mount. Unthread the nut to remove the tool. Remove broken roller pieces. Depending on the year, the roller bolt will have an E-clip, a screw, or a roll pin. This is a 2016 model with a roll pin. Use a 1 8 inch punch or drill bit to drive the roll pin through. Using a T27 Torx bit, remove the roller bolts. Do not attempt to remove the roller bolts unless the roll pin has been removed. Uh, here is the new rollers. Here's our bolt. I want to talk about the, uh, there's a couple different styles. So from 2008 to 2011, uh, basically this bolt would go in through the washer, through the roller, and then there's a E-clip that would go on to hold the bolt. Um, so that's one style. So the kit I bought has them. So that is 2008 to 2011. In 2012, they actually used a set screw design. And then in 2013 and up, and I'm not sure if they're still using it or not, they use a roll pin that goes through the, uh, the hole in the bolt. Well, it would only have the hole if it's this style, so I don't have that. So 2008 to 2011. And then 2012 is a set screw, and then 2013 and up, and I know till at least 2018. Install blue Loctite thread lock onto roller bolts before installation into clutch. Install the roller bolt with the beveled washer through the clutch, then insert the flat washer, then insert the roller with the extended extruded surface onto the flat washer. Install the bolt. If you are reusing the bolts, put a mark on the head of the bolt to line it up with the hole in the clutch. If you are using new bolts, you will have to drill out the hole after it is fully seated in the clutch. Note, this is a heavy duty roller with a stainless steel washer. The OEM roller does not use a flat washer inside the clutch next to the roller. Verify that the hole in the bolt lines up with the hole in the clutch. If you are using a new bolt, you will have to drill a hole for the roll pin. 
use a flat punch or a bolt to drive the roll pin in and make sure it is fully seated. Install the clutch spring compression tool. Tighten the nut to compress the rubber and seat the tool in the clutch. Install plastic spring guide. Install second plastic spring guide and spring into the helix. Verify the alignment of the two clutch halves and the helix. Use the marks that were made before the project started. Install the tube the washer and the nut. Use a 19 millimeter wrench to compress the clutch spring. Apply Loctite to the T40 Torx bolts and install them into the helix. Align the helix and install the bolts by hand. Tighten them with a T40 Torx wrench. Install the large flat washer and install the belt tensioner bracket. This will be adjusted after the clutch is in the sled. The reassembly of the clutch is complete. Install the clutch back into the snowmobile and thread the jack shaft onto the alignment tool. Use the alignment tool to match the gear and the splines on the jack shaft and pull the jack shaft through the gear. Using a wood block, tap the clutch to seat the bearing on the jack shaft. Install the bearing retainer bracket. There is one bolt that holds the bracket to the frame and contains the bearing and another bolt that holds the brake line in place. Apply Loctite to the bolt for the upper drive gear and install. Tighten the bolt to 40 foot-pounds of torque. Install the chain case vent plug. Use a flat bladed screwdriver to push the inner lip inside the chain case. Be careful not to damage it. Using an Allen head wrench, adjust the chain tension and tighten the jam nut. Install the exhaust can. Make sure that the two rubber grommets on the feet are installed. Install the exhaust sensor. To install the belt, put the belt around the primary clutch. You may need to push down on the belly pan to get it around the clutch. Using the Skidoo clutch tool or a 10 millimeter bolt, thread it into the belt tensioner bracket to separate the clutch halves. When the clutch halves are separated, install the belt over the secondary clutch. To adjust the belt tension, Lift the rear of the snowmobile and begin backing the bolt out of the belt tensioner bracket. Rotate the secondary clutch. Repeat this process until the edge of the secondary clutch is in alignment with the lower groove on the belt. Using an Allen head wrench, tighten the bolt on the belt tensioner bracket. 
install the belt or clutch guard. The front of the guard hooks into the frame and the rear of the guard is a bracket that is held into the sled by a pin. Install the side panels and the project is now complete. Please subscribe for more repair videos or power sports action videos. Thank you.